Tip Table. I'm Vixen Little Paw. This is Cherry Bomb Pop. How's everybody doing out there? Hello. Hello. We're talking about skincare today. So yeah. we got some masks in our yep. box charm boxes. <clears throat> so we're going to talk a little bit about skincare. Uh, one of the things I want to show you guys is I use these, I get these, I get like 20 of these in a pack and there's 12 in each of these uh -huh. and each of these when put into hot water turns into, turns into one of these, which I used to wash my face and dispose of it. So I don't have ick. These are the same ones they use in most salons, actually. They're very, they're, they're poofy. Yes. I already cleaned my face and I took a hot rag to my face to open up my pores, so. And then afterwards, I'm going to take this towel that is extremely cold. And I'm going to. Take this mask off, and the cold will seal the pores. <clears throat> Maybe I should wait to do that after I wipe it off and then put moisturizer on, though. I usually do that after moisturizer. First thing I'm doing is <coughs> paint Somerville goat milk. I love that stuff! I was just going to say, this is somebody's favorite. I love it. So... I already cleaned my face, and I'm using the Frank Body Brightening Vitamin C Mask. It's only supposed to be a five-minute mask. We're going to find out. <laughs> now we're going to find out. You know, this, gonna goat milk this goat milk soap is, it smells really, really good. It does! And I love how it makes my skin feel after... But I also use, when when I wash my face with it, I also use, because um, I'll wet my face and I'll put it on there. And then I use an actual sponge sponge, not a loofah, but an actual sponge because it exfoliates your skin more. And I'll take it off with that. That's what I'm using. These are sponges. They're smushy, but they're sponges. And I hit, like, all of my, my super porous areas with that sponge super hard. Like, I scrub my face. <laughs> I've already done that today, so we're not going to go that far. There's a rinse. And we're going to pat it a little bit. Pat it dry. Because the next thing I'm going to do is tickle my nose. Because it tickles. And I'm going to use this mask, which is Asology Detoxifying Treatment Mask, which is a peel-off mask. So We're okay, Myrtle. How are you? We're talking face care today. Because face care, obviously, you need to have some kind of don't be like me. I was okay. just going to say. You have to have some kind of facial cleansing regime in your life. So that you don't end up with shitty skin. I apparently was blessed with not shitty skin. Um, there are people out there that were not as lucky as me. Um, and no, uh, I never took care of my skin before now. <clears throat> We've had words. Very many. <laughs> we it's just my fucking anger. That's why I have good skin. I'm so angry all the fucking time. I just refuse to fucking have any skin issues. You can't hold on to those toxins. No. It's, it, it says no fuck you. Get out. I remember the first time I did a black mask, I actually ripped out part of my eyebrow. I was like, hmm, hmm wax substitute. Gotcha. Cool. <laughs> I 
what I do, Myrtle, is um, I've made it a point to when I get in the shower, I have my my goat milk soap and I wash my face. And then I uh, get out of the shower and I put moisturizer on and then I put my hyaluronic acid on. And then I started with the grapeseed oil last night. Um, and then I put this shit on my eyes. And I do a lip scrub. So I've just made it part of the routine, I guess. This is very new for her. Yeah, it really is. I'm not... I, I'm i a liar. I had a face routine at one point. And then I fucked it off. Because, well... I didn't like sticking with things at that point in my life. Hence why I've been married so many times. <laughs> this mask is, like, not sticky. I can feel it drying. Don't touch your face when you have a mask on it, by the way. You're not it's technically bad. supposed to. <laughs> I used to do facials for a living. When you go in and you get a facial done, the reason why they put the hot towels on your face is so that your pores will open up. So it will, it will be more accepting of whatever you're putting on your face. Personally, my favorite kind of mask is, um, it's, I want to say, it, I, I know I'm wrong, but it's a mint mask. It's green. I like mint anything. Um, I know you can get it at Sally's. But the masks that we're seeing on ads on social media, the one where it's a stick and you put it on your skin and the next thing you see is all of these pores come out, that is not how that actually works. That's 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 all. Those are nice. coffee grounds, by the way. It's false advertisement. <coughs> a lot of us can't yep. we can't do it because we can't do anything about it because it's a different country. Yep. So, but those ones that they're showing on social media, don't go for them. If you want a really good regime, or you want a really good, you want to find really good products, go find an esthetician. Go talk to a dermatologist. Mm-hmm. Talk to a professional about skincare. Um, what was it called? It's I think it's still around. It starts with a P. Proactive. It mm -hmm. wasn't called proactive when it first came out. When it mm -hmm. first came out, you could only get it through estheticians or dermatologists. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it was called. And I did use that for like five years. And mm -hmm. it was not cheap then either. <clears throat> but uh, morning and night, uh, every morning and night, I would do it. And that was my favorite one. If I mm -hmm. could go back to it, I would. If I could afford it. Um, with these kind of masks, with these peel-off masks, I like using a brush. Because once <coughs> it gets all over your hands, mm -hmm. it's just a brush to get off. Um, so, we're just waiting for this to dry. Which is drying, actually, rather quickly. I don't know if it's been five minutes or not. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Because we've been on for 10. This isn't a peel mask. It's just a wash away, so. You're getting started using Dr. Teal's. At least your skin doesn't feel rubbery anymore. That is a start. Yeah. I don't know who Dr. Teal's is. Um, They make Epsom salt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They do a lavender bath, too. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. That's all I know. <coughs> I use Dr. Bonner's. But the no soap soap. It's all off. The no soap soap. Yeah. Live green, that kind of thing. Right now I'm using the tangerine smell, which I like. But it bites a little. <laughs> That's why I had to stop using that eye cream, that, that first eye cream that Foxy Charm sent us. Because it was biting my eyeballs. Well, not my eyeballs, but like the skin around my eyes. Notice I kept way away from my eyes with this mask. You do not want this on sensitive skin areas. And my, my eyes are very old skin. I don't want to rip it. I will tell you for moisturizer, you can pretty much use anything. I use lotion. I use this. I use 
If I'm Those using water base, I use Cetaphil. I have Cetaphil lotion. Um, if I'm using oil, I use jojoba. I tried using this clean and clear watermelon gel moisturizer. I tried this out. It's not terrible, but I'll probably never buy it again. It smells pretty, though. It smells like watermelon. I also have this vitamin C moisturizer that cost me kind of an arm and a leg. But it smells good. It smells really good. And it works really well. <coughs> it's got one of those pump things that perfect like measurement. And I also use uh, vitamin C serum. That's what the mask was, was vitamin C. Um, with the hyaluronic acid, I found you actually don't have to use that much. Because it just dries down anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, the hey, rain is coming. We got rain last night. And we're supposed I just felt to get the hermetic rain. pressure shift. <laughs> well, and we're getting rain three days next week. Supposedly, it actually snowed last night. I was pissed. <laughs> I was so pissed. I was like, "No, we're done with this shit. Stop it." Are you getting crunchy? No, my nose it just. Oh, it is getting a little crunchy. I got a few spots, though, that are still drying. It's all sticky still. Uh, That's okay, Myrtle. You can do that. It didn't stick around. Like, our snow didn't stick. It was gone. But I was pissy because I looked out the window. It was snowing. We were talking about cooking stuff uh, before the show, and we were talking about casseroles, and now I want tater tot casserole. <clears throat> so I've come to the conclusion that I'm addicted to broccoli veggie tots. Broccoli oh, those cheese. would... I'm sure I'd like those. They're fucking awesome. They're carb-loaded as shit, though. I was just going to say, I bet they're carby. But they're... Well, they're less carbs than regular tater tots. Um, but they're fucking good. And making tater tot casserole with those? Dude, my dude. I'd probably like that a lot. This is the grapeseed oil shit that Boxy Charm sent me last time. How do you like it? Is it it's, lighter than... I've never used grapeseed oil. It's before. very oily. Oh, um, is it? Yeah. Is it, have you used jojoba before? Yeah. Is it, it's not as thick, but it is still very oily. Um, it does have a very grapeseed smell to it. Um, but this is only the second time I've used it. I, I mean, last night my skin felt great after doing everything that I just did minus the mask. Uh, because I did, I washed my face, I put the moisturizer on, the hyaluronic acid, and then I put that on afterwards and let it dry down, and it was fine. It didn't, like, it's, it's an oil, so. Yeah, it's going to clog your pores. But it's going to inject good shit in your but pores But it's first. the good kind of stuff. Yeah. We always say it's putting the good oils back. Yeah. I can't say that my skin looks any brighter from that fucking mask. Because if I get any fucking brighter, I'm going to be neon. I was just going to say, you'll glow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll fucking glow. <laughs> I already glow in the dark, man. Vixie likes to put this stuff on uh before she does her makeup uh-huh i like to put it on actually it's upside down um where is my mother? while i'm doing skincare i do both really and it didn't say i couldn't put it on my upper lid so i do put it on my upper well, lid. oh i put it on both yeah it's so nice and so it's cool. one of the few that don't irritate my eyes yeah like my eyes don't feel like they're being allergic and on fire Right. Which happens a lot with um, the only one that really, there's two others that didn't, and that was Rock mm -hmm. Retinol Eye Cream. I try to stay away from retinol just because it's a fucking chemical. 
But yeah, I mean, if it works for you, by all means. It, that one worked and it didn't hurt me, which all other retinols did. And then Clinique has an eye cream, which <coughs> didn't bother me. But I don't think their eye cream is much different from their face cream. No, if I at don't all. Think so. And it may be that the other products that you were using had higher counts of retinol in them. Well, and it could be fragrances too. Yeah, it could be a lot of things. Like, I remember somebody got me Estee Lauder mascara once. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. This stuff was terrible. Especially for how much you pay for it. Yes. But it's perfumed to hell. Even the mascara was. Mm -hmm. Just perfumed. Well, and there's other makeup companies out there that I won't name. <clears throat> oh, I do. Well, okay. So, they claim to be hypoallergenic makeup. But yet. Elme. Alme, um, Avon. Uh, oh, Mary I can't Kay. do Avon or what's the other one? Mary Kay? Yeah, no, can't do Mary those. Mary Kay makes me welt. Yes, because they say that they're hypoallergenic, but they have these high amounts of alcohol and high amounts of perfume in their products. The perfume kills me. I look like I have a sunburn if I use their products. Mm-hmm. And they always say, oh, well, we have new products. And I'm like, I'm no, no, you don't. I don't want your products. I'm not playing your game. <laughs> eh, crunchy. Don't eat it, dummy. Don't you put it in your mouth. Now, you can make your own sugar scrubs at home. It's not hard. Nope. I'll even tell you my recipe right here. A cup of sugar. I prefer brown, but you can use any sugar. Or you can use salt if you uh -huh. prefer to use salt. But I like sugar. I like the way it smells. I like the way it's not as sharp. Salt is sharper. Mm -hmm. um, and so use a cup of salt and a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Is what I use, but you can use melt some coconut oil. You can use whatever you want. Purple, yellow, and gold. Or purple, orange, and gold. So. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then you can put up to 20 drops of essential oil. Make sure it's real essential oil, not the perfume shit, because that'll hurt you. Well, okay. So when you use salt, yes, it is sharper, which leaves you with more of an exfoliant. Um, sugar is lighter, so it exfoliates, but not as heavily. I got my crunchy lips gone. Yay. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Well, for the most part. It's, Let's it's, be friends so we can make out. I can't get that song out of my head. The lip oil definitely helps, though. I like this stuff. This rose. I can't mm -hmm. remember who it. It doesn't have the name here. Girl attic. Girl attic. Mm -hmm. like rose oil and something. It's a little sticky for a few minutes, but then it stops being sticky. I, well, don't I get me wrong. The stuff that I use is definitely it's it's thick and it has a stick to it. But and I love while, that tinted away. stuff, that honey stuff. Uh-huh. I absolutely love that stuff. It smells so good. It does. She said, I'm done. Peel this shit off of me already. It's still a little wet on my cheek. No problem. Put it in too thick. There's a little spot here, too. I'll only wait for a few more minutes. Let it dry. Well, the other stuff is hanging on pretty good. 
I didn't feel it breaking. <coughs> I'm Batman. buy a spork this year i haven't done that in a few years i i buy I'll like i'll get a spork and i'll take the middle two prongs out of it because my spork thinks it's batman got a few hairs in that one did you feel it a little bit yep now by the way guys these peel-off masks are supposed to be painful <laughs> I kind of have a high pain tolerance. Oh, there's a few more here that just got ripped out of my head. No, girl, back. It's fine. Mm, those little short ones. Mm. I and love when people. So you know. I love mm. it when people scream while they're doing this. It's hilarious. Another thing that a lot of people don't realize is, is if you have a peel off mask, and it is too intense for you to peel off, you actually can wash them. Off. <laughs> I was just gonna say, wash it off. Do not put yourself through that. You're not going to be stuck with this shit for the rest of your life with it on your face. You can wash it And you it don't off. need to go to the ER. <laughs> Leave no. Leave poor people alone. Because <laughs> all they're going to do is give you a hot washcloth. Ah! Well, I had some gunk in my face. Did you? It's been a while since I've done this. I have really exciting pores. Oh, when you have right. little places like this, yeah. mm -hmm. if you can't just like roll it off like this with your fingernail, just wipe it off with a warm washcloth. <coughs> Ew. This stuff is not as intense mm -mm. as the stuff I get from... <laughs> Japan. Overseas. Okay. I have one that's bamboo and charcoal that I get from Japan. Now that stuff wants to become a part of my anatomy. It doesn't hurt, but I can feel it. This I could barely even feel it coming off. So another fun fact, if you ever have surgery and you do your makeup and you decide that you're going into to surgery full on makeup after they tell you you're not supposed to wear makeup in surgery and you put eyelash glue on your eyes, you will wake up and your eyelids will be glued shut because they put tape over your eyes that has very strong glue to it. And if you're allergic to latex, make sure they know because that yes. stuff, they have to use the special stuff for you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Or you won't be seen for a couple of days. Because your eyeballs will be spoiled shut. I had a friend of mine who's a nurse over in uh, Tennessee. She lives in Georgia, but she works in Tennessee. She called me one day and she said, Cherry, you are the only person I know who to talk to about this. I said, okay, what? She said, I have a patient that decided she was going to do full glam before she went into surgery. I said, okay. She said her eyes are glued shut. I said, um... <laughs> Good luck with that because you can try warm compresses. You can try pretty much everything. It's not going to do anything because of the glue that they use on um, when they tape her eyes shut. And she's like, oh. I was like, so she's just going to have to be mad at herself because she didn't listen to her A surgeon. Anybody else? She said, dude, we've done warm washcloths, we've tried oil, we've tried... I yeah, was if like, oil doesn't work, you're done. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, go down to the, the NICU unit or the, the labor and delivery and go get baby oil. She's like, we tried that already. I was like, then you're fucked. <laughs> She's not getting her fucking eyes open anytime soon. I'm going to do my vitamin C first. Because that is water. If you are going to mix water and oils... Put your water-based products on first. I don't care what they are. Because if you put your oil-based products on before your water, the water-based products is not going to touch your skin nope. ever. Nope. It's going to just evaporate. 
it's just going to fall you waste right a whole off. bunch of money. Because oil and water don't mix, people. Woo! Well, there's a little bite to that one. I might actually put some eyebrows on since you know we got dollhouse later. Yeah, that's just thinking. I might. I have enough time for a little bit of makeup, actually. I don't feel like it, though. Well, I might actually just do eyebrows myself. I'm going to put some of this. You know why I want to say hydro, right? <coughs> It's because, because hydro means water. Mm -hmm. But when it's hyaluronic. Stuff, but it's hyaluronic. Do you use it can't about be water and acid at the same time? Like this much? What I do is, okay, when I put it back in the bottle, I empty it out and then I twist it all the way down. And then I let go of the stopper and I let it fill up as much as it's going to fill up. And okay, it's that's what fit. I use, is whatever's in the stopper. That's and we've had this shit for I two months, dude. Look, I barely used half of it. And that's after the cat spilled a quarter of it. You do not have to use that much of this stuff, honestly. Because it dries out really quick. I just use a bunch of it because, well, I'm a bad person and don't wash my fucking face. Oh, and you should shit. you should have... You really should have some kind of moisture on your face. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise like it won't water. right. <laughs> Cause this holds what ten times its weight in water. Mm -hmm. Like now, I put my moisturizer on after I wiped my face down, so there yeah. was a transfer, not mm -hmm. much of one, but there was enough of a transfer. So now I'm going to use the vitamin C, and this has. That's really all you need is that one pump. Mm -hmm. I didn't People get, get a little crazy. Now, the funny thing is, is now that I've washed my face, I wish you guys could see how red my nose really is. Like, yeah, that bitch see. is red. There's a spot right here that's biting. Don't worry, people. It's from the citrus. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, your body can have a chemical reaction to the most simple thing. Like, I know people who have reactions to witch hazel. I love witch hazel and yes, but and that's the only toner I use anymore because the alcohol ones dry me out way too much. Oh, whatever this congestion shit is, it needs to stop. I'm done with it. I'm tired of it. Oh, you can almost, yeah, you can almost, okay. So I use Dermilect, Dermilect Revitalite Eyelid and Duck Circle Corrector. You can see I used it on this side. And now on this side, you can actually see a difference. Mm -hmm. This side is the side I used it on. This is the side I didn't. You can actually, yeah. in just those few seconds, and it, it gets better actually because it soaks in and you just use a little just a little pea size i didn't even use a pea size i literally squirted just was, enough out of the tip i was just gonna say it's probably half a pea <laughs> it actually does help swell take the swelling on my puffiness down through here out more yeah. the only time i do use hemorrhoid gel on them sometimes but it's only when they're really 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 bad yes because it can be a little bit you don't want to use too much of it because it can be over like you can skin. have a fucking chemical reaction to it because that is a lot of chemical going on there And you know what? My skin feels so good, I'm not putting makeup on it. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm over here wondering if I'm going to be able to smell me again. <laughs> and um, you said you used the hair. I did use the hair mask last night. 
No, I haven't used it yet. I was going to use it today, but today they got away from me. So, okay. First of all, I did it wrong. <laughs> You're supposed to put it on clean hair, by the way, not dirty hair. But dirty hair is more porous. So, the only reason I did it wrong was because I washed my hair after I rinsed it out. Had I not washed my hair, it would have been fine. So what I did was I waited until after I washed my hair, I got out of the shower, towel dried it a little bit, and then I put it back in there. Now, the amount that I put in my hair was insane because my hair apparently is very porous at this point and was just soaking it up. Um, I'm going to try it again because you're supposed to do it one to two times a week. I'm going to try it again the next time I wash my hair and I completely let it dry out um, and see how it works. But... When I did it with my hair wet, I just let my hair dry. I didn't brush it. I didn't comb it. I didn't wet comb it. I didn't do anything to it. I just let it dry. And when I went to go brush my hair earlier, it brushed out so much easier. Um, I'm not mad at it. I think it did its job. It smelled really good from when I could smell it. And my hair does feel better. Um... It's, but I don't use conditioner very often because I don't like putting a lot of shit in my hair. Um, and when I do use conditioner, it is literally the ends of my hair and not the rest of my hair because this is what needs the most attention because this is where your hair starts to split. This is where you get a lot of environmental damage from your hair. This is because as you grow your hair out, and you chemically process it or you put heat with it and you don't use a leave-in conditioner or a heat protectant, that's that after everything after the first two inches of your hair is dead, people. So it's it does not grow out. from the tips of your hair. It comes no, from the it roots grows from of your, your scalp. It does not grow from here. <laughs> um, and because I don't use conditioner very often, because my hair is healthy enough to where I don't really need to use it all that often. And I could say that because I was a registered cosmetologist. Cool. Um, I think you should do a red wing. Um, does it feel any different than if I would have conditioned it? Yes. Yes, it absolutely does. I think the next time when I wash my hair, I'm actually going to throw conditioner in it. And I'm going to try the hair mask after it's dry just to see if that does any different. But... Um, it, it definitely makes a difference. I don't know if you can use it on, and I used it on color treated hair. So I'm I'm gonna use it on my virgin hair this Let me week, know how that goes. this coming week, and I'll let you. Okay, know well, make sure it's after you wash your hair and your hair is dry, because don't do it in wet hair apparently, and don't do it on dirty hair, because then you gotta wash it, <sighs> and you just strip everything out when you wash. There's it. so much rules. I know. So, so these, basically, you guys, wash your hair, let it dry. Put it on. Make sure you don't put your towel in the dirty clothes because you're going to need that towel again to dry your hair. <laughs> See, this is where I have time. That shower. Do you remember the shower moisturizers? I think I don't remember who did them. But you put the moisturizer on before you get in the shower and then you rinse it off. No. Do you remember those? They were big a couple years ago. That was the stupidest thing I ever heard of. Why would you moisturize your skin and then wash it the fuck off? So I use I use a brush when I use peel off masks for mm -hmm. multitude of reasons, and this is the brush I use. This is a Wet n Wild. It's kind of flat. Is it the silicone one? No, it's brush. Oh. It's a brush brush. See, I want I use one of those silicone, silicone ones. Flat brush. I want to get a couple of the small silicone ones for all my glitter palettes. Um, but I usually use these to put on. Um, colored bases like if mm -hmm. i'm doing blue or purple or something this is the kind of brush i usually use um this was 90 no this was a dollar 99 on amazon i would like one of those silicone ones but i don't have money but as you can see you know how i got my silicone one i bought a fucking face mask that already had it in it oh. Oh. i cheated such a cheetah but it worked, so I adapted and overcame. Ha-ha! <laughs> it went! Uh -huh. I win! <laughs> fuck is wrong with Terry today? Who knows? It is amazing how well that works on my eyes. Yes. 
Now, my circles like around my eyes are not as noticeable as Vixie's, but they are there. And I'm not saying that in a negative manner, by the way. No, I have hyperpigmentation. Right. I have a spot over here that's, we call it a sun kiss, but it's it's an old lady hyperpigmentation spot. I'm okay it's my that. German roots showing. <laughs> right. Now, and Myrtle's seen me, like, in person. She's seen how, how my eyes actually look. Um, and the more tired I am, the more I look like I got a motherfucking black eye. Me too. Mine turned purple. Uh, we call it my, my father's name is Barber. Mm -hmm. My, his surname. And we call it Barber eyes. My eldest gets it so bad when he's tired. I'm like, Oh, look at them Barber eyes. You need to go lay down now. <laughs> it's night night time. <laughs> it's night night time. You're so tired. But what, what kind of OC are you doing, Myrtle? Now I'm yeah. curious. Yeah. What are you doing? I want to know what kind of why why we have red wings now. Red wig. Oh, wig. Why did I think she said wing? I don't. You you are obsessed with wings. You're a bit obsessed, my dude. <laughs> a bit obsessed. Whether they're chicken wings or real ass fucking <laughs> let's fly wings or wings coming off your eyeballs. She's waiting for you to have these big feather wings coming off your back, Myrtle. <laughs> Fuck yeah. She was going to be really disappointed when that wig came in. <laughs> yeah, damn it. What the fuck? Where's the wings? This is a wig. But I wanted wings, but I told you I was sending a wig. What the fuck? <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, 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 ma'am. No, oh, I'm tired. I'm tired of pretty noses. I'm not telling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so mean. <laughs> <laughs> we were up late last night playing Don't Starve Together, but we were doing so good. We were, we were doing so good. Then we all I died. only died for two days. <laughs> and and then I built we a all catapult, died. and I built a generator, and I built spotlights. You did. And I and we bought composters and refrigerators and <laughs> only reason we died was because I died on accident because penguins attacked me. Yeah. And then And then couldn't... I went on an adventure with, with Bixie trying to go find her body and that didn't work. So she made me go home. And then I died. <laughs> And then she died after we got home. So I'm like, all right, that's it. We're done. <laughs> well, first I died for two days because I got too close to the fire. <laughs> and then I Which found a touch plate and had to have Vixie come get me before the snow came. Come back with me. The snow is coming. But we went, what was it, 22 or 23 days? 24. 24 days? Yeah. That's my record. Yeah, I was just going to say that's her record. We were real close. My record is 33, 32, something like 32, that. 32, I think. I know you've said 32 before, and I, I it's know probably you said 32 you wanted to get to 33. Remember. I don't know if you have since then. I knew it was past 31 because their deer crops, yeah. like, went away. Yeah. But then he came back. <laughs> and apparently and we are not we allowed died. to let Liz have a boat during the winter because she starts fires and boats <laughs> during the winter and dies. I think there's a way to have fire on the boat. It's just not the campfire. Yeah. <laughs> I think torches might be a good idea. Well, and I know also you could put, you know how we have those spaces between some of the lands where there's just a little bit of water? Yeah. The boat, some of the boats fit right in there. So you can make like a bridge mm -hmm. out of a boat, which would be so much easier than having to go all the way around. Now, I did find the edges of the left and the right side or the east and the west side of the map. Yes, well, which are... Dead. I found swamp. I found desert. It's just I was, waterfalls falling yeah, off the flat earth. Yeah, it's literally waterfalls. <laughs> I was legitimately to the point where I just thought that the game was nothing more than quarries and dry land and forests. And then I found a swamp and went, oh, what is this? <laughs> oh, we have desert. <laughs> There's a dragonfly in the desert that will kill you, though. <laughs> so will the cactus if you don't fucking chop it right. No, oh, they always poke you, but they yeah. are good fillers and they feed people who don't only eat meat. That lady's character. That's my only character. Eats meat. 
She's a pain in the ass, but she's a good fighter. The only thing that my character does not eat is monster meat. That one can eat it. Yep. But my character also can kill one of those hounds with two smacks. One, two, dead. One, two, dead. dead. (laughs) That's because your spear is amazing. I can make a spear, but it's nowhere near the capability of her spear. not my battle spear, man. No. Oh, good. I want to see pics. I really don't want to put makeup on because my skin nope. actually feels really nice right yeah. now. <laughs> I mean, I put eyebrows on because we have Doll's House or Doll House. Um, but that was that's all I'm doing today. I'm, I'm not doing anything else. I need a new headband like yours. This one yeah. was sent to me by a friend of mine from back home. We used to do care packages back and forth. Mm-hmm. And uh, she works in a travel center that I worked at. And uh, she sent me this. And I've had this for five years. I used to have one that was white with the original um, drawing from uh, Alice in Wonderland, the Tenenbaums drawing of the Mm -hmm. white rabbit. And I loved that one. And we went, uh, we, uh, we had to evacuate because of one of the hurricanes. Mm -hmm. And I think it got lost. I think it got left at a hotel on accident. Like it fell behind the couch or something when I was packing. Yeah. Oh, this one is very. Amazon doesn't sell it anymore. No, and this one is spandex material. Um, like you can find small ones, like I have cotton ones that I bought Mm. at Walmart um, that have elastic in them. I like the wide ones that you can put up over your face, but this one is definitely my like favorite absolute one because not only does the the way that it fits, it doesn't crush my ears as much because I like to wear them over my ears versus behind my ears. It drives me nuts when they're behind my ears. Um, and this one doesn't crush my ears as much. I have a very it, round head and they slip. This one will slip if I pull my hair up. Um, it drives me crazy. And you'll see me like pulling it down and <laughs> fucking with it sometimes. And of course I don't have as much forehead because of my wood. Right. Feet. Right. Um, but that's not mask. And it, it works during the winter too. It works better than the, the cotton ones that I have. Um, I definitely... Um, and if I don't want it to say the nope, not today, I just wear it inside out. It doesn't leave marks on my hair. Like if, a, you know, if I put a, oh, a hairband yeah, on my nice. hair or whatnot, um, it's almost kind of like wearing a silk bonnet on my head. I don't mind it. It does leave my hair flat, but that's because of the amount of pressure. That, and it's really good when I have a migraine or a headache because it puts pressure on my skull and it's just enough pressure to where it doesn't hurt. Oh, my cuticles are bad. I don't have cuticles. I didn't notice. I haven't pushed them back in a while. I Usually I push them back when I shower, but I haven't been paying attention. I'm All of a sudden finally. I look down and I have long nails. I need to cut them off. This one's shaped, this one's shaped funny because I took off like half of that tip of that finger on a meat slicer. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Sucked. <clears throat> It's one of those things that's just so sharp that you don't feel it when it happens. Yep. But the minute that hits air, those nerves hit air. Oh, holy you know. cow, that hurts. I had a box cutter do that with right here on the, from like the free edge of my nail out. Mm-hmm. Do you know how hard it is to wear fucking artificial nails while you're cut right there? That mm-hmm. sucked. Um, you might as well just super glue it shut at that I point. did. I did. Uh, I kept what I would have done. <laughs> and people laugh at hairdressers when they see that we have super glue at our station and we don't do nails. Our when we like it is very common for us to point cut our fingers. I have more scars on my hands from point cutting too deep. Mm-hmm. You're not supposed to cut past first knuckle, but nobody listens to that, including me. Mm-hmm. But you in hairdressing, you do cut your fingers. And this finger right here has a scar on the side, where. No, it's this side because it's right there. I have these little V's all over my hands. Anyway, um, I cut down to the nerve in this fingertip. Nerves take seven years to grow back. Yep. It took me 10 years to finally be able to feel in that fingertip again. This middle finger, this other one, the nail didn't, but a friend of mine had a pair of scissors. And she was shaving a haircut. And we're like in fifth grade, right? And I went like this. And, and snipped. 
and I ran, <clears throat> it was the morning before school, I ran <clears throat> into the kitchen to wash it off, and the tip of my finger fell off in the sink. Uh -huh. So I put it back on. I was pretty calm, cool, and collected when I was a kid, too. I can't, it's just my nature. Right. I looked at my mom and said, Mom, I have to go to the hospital. She said, why? Get in the car. We're going to school. I said, no, I got to go to the hospital. She goes, yeah, right. Why? And I said, because Sarah just cut my finger off. Finger she off. Said, no, she didn't. I said, yes, she did. She was getting the car. Get the car. Go to the car. I was like, fine. I could never tell. I could never tell with you. You didn't scream. <laughs> it's like when I split my forehead open. I still have the scar. You can see it right there. But uh -huh. when, when I was little, it was like, no, yeah. this way. This way. I can't do it on the camera. Anyways, it went through my eyebrow. And uh, I was four, you know? Yeah. And I was like, Ma, I hurt my head. She goes, oh. And picked me up and put me on the sink with my back towards the mirror and was cleaning me up. We're like two and a half hours, two, two and a half hours away from any kind of medical anything. Like yeah. even, a, even a fire department. So she's being really calm. My dad comes in and goes, Oh my lord! And kind of nudged me just enough so I could catch peripheral all this blood running down my face. and I screamed and I would not talk to him for like a week. So <laughs> when I was little, um, my parents had the coffee table that had the very sharp edges on it that was made out of wood. Mom chased me around the table. I was about two, and I have a scar on the side of my lip where I face planted. And when my sister was little, I decided she needed, apparently, to play Superman over the table. And I was going to catch her. And she caught the edge of the table with her eyebrow. So they knew us very well. They knew us by first name in the ER. Mm -hmm. Because we were constantly doing stupid shit like that. Oh, yeah, me too. My mom was like, I'm so glad I worked with most of these people in the ER. Because I would be up on abuse charges with you. Because mm -hmm. I was in there like every weekend for something. Mm -hmm. Yep. The stitches all the time. I broke my fucking pinky and my mom didn't fucking believe me. She said, can you bend it? And I said, no. And she said, does it hurt? And I said, yeah. And she said, well, wiggle it. And I went, and she said, does it hurt? I said, yes, it fucking hurts. <laughs> she took me to urgent care and they're like, she broke her pinky. My mom was like, how did you do that? I was like, we were playing tag. My pinky got caught in somebody's fucking shirt and it, it pulled back and it broke. My, I had my hands in the chain link fence like this, and somebody came up and went bam and dislocated the second and third knuckle of my middle finger on my right hand. And I walked into school and I said, I hurt my hand. They're crown. like, What kind of no, crown? no, it's fine. And I'm it's like, fine. No, it's not. I held it up, it's like three times too big and purple, you know, right? So my aunt's house had put up windows. Okay. And we were on the second story. And my cousins wanted the window open. So me being me, I walk up, put my hands on the glass, and push up. The window shatters. There's scar number one right here. Okay. <laughs> Go get it stitched up. Right? They get the window replaced. Two weeks later, I get my stitches taken out. We go back over there. They want the window open again. What did I do? I got scar number two. <laughs> My mom said, stay the fuck away from windows. You're done. <laughs> That's done. it. You're done. She crown, said, you damn near cut your finger off twice. The, just one, uh, I stepped on a broken bottle in the, in the uh, I don't know broken beer bottle. I, my feet. I can't Crazy. tell you how many scars I have on my feet from stepping on shit. Oh, and... <laughs> When I finally broke my ankle, which I was in my, I think, I think I was actually 42 when I broke my ankle. Like it wasn't that many years ago. And it was in front of the kid's school. They had a pothole in the thing. And I was not paying attention to why I was stepping because I was paying attention where all three kids were stepping. And, and you did what my mom did. And you landed in a gopher hole. <laughs> yep. And I went down. And all these people started rushing to me. Now, one thing I cannot stand is people being... On top of me, especially if I'm in a painful situation, because my panic sets in. And I right. went, Stop! I'm fine. 
Yeah. And I'm like, just, and mom's like, are you really okay? And I'm like, just get the kids in the car. And so I pulled myself up by the bumper of my van and hobbled to my, to the, 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 the side of the thing, closed the door. We go forward, we get to the stop sign, we turn away from the school. And I went, take me to the ER now. <laughs> so from the time I was 11 till I was 13, I had braces. Okay. I also lived on crutches for those two years. Oh, sprains and rips. No, 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 no. Fractures and breaks. Oh, I didn't do that. My ankles are, they were very, I, I don't know why, but my ankles were extremely weak at that point in my life. Um, and the first time I fractured it, I thought I was going to die. And as soon as I got off crutches for that, I, it was my left ankle that I fractured. Then I broke my right ankle after getting off crutches off the left ankle. And for two years, it was bouncing back and forth, whether I fractured, sprained, or broke them. To the point where if my mom thought it was a break, she was like, nope, we've got, the, I can wrap this shit, we can stint this shit, and you've got crutches, you're good. It got to the point where at one point, I was probably in my early 20s. If I lifted my foot the wrong way, I would sprain my ankle. Now Your they do this thing up. where... I can literally make them pop at any given time. Like they just, they just pop all the time. You Dang. broke your ankle in three places doing a standing long jump into a bag in seventh grade. Um, I walk and I sprain my ankle. <laughs> I breathe wrong. My middle my name is pop. not Grace. But when, when we went to go get that ankle x-ray, they said, well, this isn't your first break of your foot. And I'm like, yes, it is. No. They're like, no, it's not. No, sorry. <laughs> That's what you think. And they said, you have breaks in all of yeah. the tibula. All of them. They're just, they're just. Yeah, yeah. You can, And the funny thing is, is like, unless you really have to have the bone reset, there's, all they do is they just splint you and cast you if you need a cast. Which I probably, it probably happened on the farm. Yeah. I probably got stepped on by a horse or a cow or a tractor ran and over And you just me thought it was whatever. Swollen. And I probably ace bandaged it for the night and then went out and did my chores the next day. Yeah. It yeah. hurt. And that's what it would be. Uh, how's your foot? It hurts. Okay. It hurts. Now, <laughs> with mine, giving. if they get, like, if I, <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I sprain them or... I've gotten to the point where I can't tell the difference between a sprain and a fracture because they're almost the same pain level. Sprains take forever to heal. They do. They very well do. Uh, a lot longer than a lot longer than bones. Bones are together yeah. so much faster than yeah, bones take like maybe a month, six weeks at the most. Fucking sprains and fractures take for fucking ever. And but anyway, torn ligaments take like oh, a year that. and a half. No, I've torn every fucking ligament I have in my ankles. I ripped my Achilles tendon in two. Ow! When I was eighteen. I just now let's talk it. about pain. No. I looked at my friend and I said, I'm going to pass out now. And he said, no. I said, I don't think either one of us have a choice. Well, and the thing <laughs> is, is, a complete tear would suck. But a partial tear would suck more. It because... was a partial tear because they didn't have to go in a new surgery. Right. Now, it... now, when you do a full tear, you do have to go in and have it surgically put back together. Yeah. Which does suck. But I would not, for the love of God, want a fucking partial tear because there ain't shit they can do for it. No. Here's what they did. First of all, I was in an SCA event and I was in garb and I was barefoot and running around all day barefoot. So my feet and my legs were dirty. Dirty as shit. Dirty. This guy in full plate black armor, I shit you not, comes over, scoops me up and carries me into the ER, which is just next door. Right. They were smart. Yeah, because they, they have a med tent at these events, people. But... <laughs> But this this was actually next to my hometown ER. It was like, oh, okay. Dude. So it was like, I was like, park. boy, that was smart. Whoever decided that was a good idea. Right? But let me tell you, we got the fastest service I have ever had in an ER. They put me in like an operating room. This was like an operating theater. Dude, you huge. came in with a dude who was in full fucking armor. What did and you And they expect? let people come back and be with me. Like there was like 12 people back there. They usually let one person. No, they they were not stopping anyone who wanted to see me. They were just letting them in. No, because like SCA I was, actually does use live steel sometimes. People, it's not just yes. rattan all the time. Yes, uh, it's not always rattan. There is live steel, and people were very scared. Um, I actually jumped over a fire 
and I was good when we did the whole, we did the routines we were supposed to do because I was, I was a fire dancer and I did, we did, second encore screwed me because I was tired. I was getting tired and I shouldn't have taken that last jump. I shouldn't have, I knew better, but I landed wrong and I just folded down. I got up like nothing was wrong because my and theater you walked off. Things, we're like, and I was like, mm -hmm. and I walked off to, you know, away. The minute I got out of the crossway, I just, just down, like a bag of potatoes. Yep. I'm going to die now. <laughs> well, Justin, he's funny because when we first moved in together, he's like, why do you have all these ace bandages? <laughs> I'm like, dude, of my if, childhood. have you met my ankles? <laughs> have you met my knees? Have you met my wrists? Yet? <laughs> like, there's a reason why I put stock in ace bandages here. But nobody ever really came to see me during this whole time. Like they came in for a few seconds. They looked. Um, the X-ray tech came in with a portable X, and they didn't have portable X-rays very much when I was eighteen. Right. This was kind of a new thing, so I was like, "Damn, you know." And they did the X-ray, and um, they come. All of a sudden, this guy comes in who I hadn't seen before, and says, "You got to clean up your foot." I'm like, "Okay, bring me stuff to do it." And my friend helped me. But I thought that was really weird that they would have us do it, you know. Right. And then this guy comes back and he's got all this stuff. And I'm like, whoa, like he's going to cast me or something, right? And I'm like, did I break it? He goes, oh, baby, you wish you did. And I said, oh, baby, are you a doctor? He said, no. I said, you need to get one because I have no idea what's going on here. Right. They didn't tell me. <laughs> oh, baby, you wish you did. Oh, dude, you do not want to talk to me like that. <laughs> So finally the doctor came in and said, you ripped your Achilles tendon almost in two. What we're going to do is we're going to put you in this cat half cast. It's going to go four inches above your toes and go right up to your buttocks. In the middle of summer in Michigan, which summers in Michigan get to about 109 humid. with the humidity. Humid. It's crazy. The lake effect. And I am living at this point in time in a double wide trailer with no air conditioning. Ah! My, hair, my hair at that point went down to my knees. My thick ass curly hair down to my knees. It was hell. It was absolute hell. <laughs> I had some really good friends. Let me tell you. One of my, my best friend Michael came over once and I was crawling on the floor to get to the kitchen to wash my hair. And he's like, no, 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 no. Just sit there for a second. He got our friend Jason. The two of them lifted me up on the counter and washed my hair. Like laid me out on the counter and washed my hair for me. It was the sweetest thing. Two straight ass males so, washing my hair. I have uh, sciatic issues. And when they flare up, it's not a good idea for me to go in public. Because I have the potential to hit the ground at any point. Oh, yeah. Which I have done. Do you know how strange it is for, well, I'm sure you do, and I'm sure everybody does. It, it was very strange for me to take a fall in the middle of a department store, and people just sit there and stare at me, and I'm like, I have sciatica, dude. My nerve just fucked off. What do you want from me? I'm not moving for at least Pe 10 minutes. People run to me, and that's, I don't like that. I'm like, stop. Right. I'll always yell at them. Stop. Don't come near me. Don't touch me. That's another thing. Don't touch me. Nope. Why do me. all you people think you gotta touch me? <laughs> Ask first. Right. <laughs> I didn't consent to this. I'm a for, I'm a first responder. I'm a trained first responder. I had my Sorry, CPR Myrtle. and first aid um, accreditation in fifth grade. Which back then you had to take a six week class. Yep. This was not the shit that they have today, where it's like an hour. No, this is six week class. The books are like this thick, and there's like fourteen of them. And there's a lot of stuff you have to learn how to do that they don't teach anymore. Like how to My do... mom made us do that as Girl Scouts. Oh, my yeah. God. But it was good training. It, it helped me become a first responder. That I went through that class like nobody's business when I turned 14. Anyways, as, as a... Okay, ladies, going to take pics and do videos. We'll see you at Dollhouse. We, I'm just... I'm winding up the story and we'll be going too. Um, but... As a first responder, you always say, excuse me, do you need help? Yeah, not just run That's up and touch somebody. That's the first thing you learn. 
You don't just go up and grab people. You're going to get hurt. Or no, sued. don't touch nobody. <laughs> You're going to get sued. Well, thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you for watching. I hope everyone had a great time. That was, was fun. We'll probably do it again if we keep getting all this product in, in our box. It's makeup related. <laughs> it's makeup related. We did skincare. It's makeup related. Um, makeup and my, my skin feels so good. I'm not putting any makeup on. Yeah, dude. Like, I'm over here. Like, my nose is super red, but I'm cool with it. Like, my face My is nose happy. is soft. If I do this, though, I'll fall asleep. <laughs> oh. Here's a trick. Do this to somebody. They'll fall asleep. I swear. I used to do that to my kids all the time when they were little. I used right to do here. it to my kids when I was feeding them. And then the youngest the other day, he was like, blah, 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 and I looked at him. I just started doing that. And he went, <laughs> like, oh shit, it still works. <laughs> It works on grown adults, too, by the way. Oh, I, I know. <laughs> I've done it to grown adults before, too. All right. We'll see you all later. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye, love you. Bye. <laughs>